Why is that nothing has ever been display on the news board? There is no information on news or events since Super Pack was announced at that time. Why do I have to keep giving items to this farmer in order to get a trendy work clothes? Why does some of the raid event given us the exact same stuff that is already given in the clothing store and parallel quests? What's the point of buying antidote when the poison speed duration is very slow? Why is that whenever I form a team for a quest, the connection always kick my teammate out? The only threat that ever comes to Quantum City is the Freezer Force. How is that every time Patroller get defeated by one Demon King? What's the point of doing these emotes in these area when majority of the players are located at the Time Machine Center? Do you remember the Super Pack DLC was giving us emotes and new mobility in the lobby? But after Extra Pack DLC was announced we don't get any of this anymore. Zenny is not the currency in Content City, it's TP Metals. What is the point of spending $2 for 200 TP medals when you can gather all 7 Dragon Balls by fighting Time Patroller? Speaking of TP medals, you wanna know how to make fast and easy cash? Here's are some helpful tips. Grind for Dragon Balls. Fight Goku in the expert mission. And do some raid event. Oh and don't waste your medals on Hero Coliseum. That game is boring and it's a waste of your time. Why can't we ever just mute Bomber? Oh look, a sore loser in the lobby. This player is definitely trash. This is the PS4 community and we have to deal with stupid people who's cheating online since 2016. Crystal raid mode is fun, but I wish they given me the costume I needed from this raid. What's the point of trading super soul and costume when you can only trade them no greater than 2 stars? Photo mode is such a great feature in the game. But they need to fix certain effects on some of the moves. I wish RCAC can do their awoken skill on their own. Why can't we ever see the fusion characters fused? The toughest challenge that all time patroller have to deal with is RNG. What's the point of wearing hats or headgear for RCAC when only a certain hairstyle can fit them? Only the alien race like Namikians and Freezer race have to remove or replace their headbutt in order to fit an accessory. Where is its clothes? Why Namikian and Margin races always have to wear shoes and gloves on their base? I mean we seen Margin boo barefoot before. I would like to or have customized costume without the symbols on their clothing. But specifically I want to be able to customize every costume in the game. Why Saiyans and Earthlings have to share the same clothing gear? I sense a little originality in the Time Patroller uniform for all races. What's the point of giving us a tail accessory that doesn't even move? I like the fact we have a separated parts for Kunasa accessory. What's the deal with the hero suit? The hands and feet are not shaded in gold, and if you revert it back to their base form they turn back to their original skin color. Really? This is absurd. Why is there two Ohoop costumes with the exact same name? What's the deal with Gogeta's wrist brace? It's just a recall or version of Goku wrist boot. Did you know, if you add Broly's top on a freezer race you can see their wrist and their suit remove. Why on earth will you take off the lower part of the shirt on a miniskirt? What kind of a person will actually fight in a fool's gold variation of the costume given in the game? Huh? <laughs> Saiyan race have 5 awoken skills, while the rest of the race only has 1. Why doesn't the Saiyan's hair spike up whenever they transform into a Super Saiyan? What's the point of putting a wig on a Saiyan if their hair doesn't change its color? Earthling Awoken is basically two skills of power pole technique on a flying Nimbus that neither the Earthling cast ever uses it. Namikian can become giant, but Piccolo or Lord Slug can't even use this transformation. Purification is just another kid boo without key blast. New dodge. Given skills. 
and a spin dash. Namiki and Ku use darkness rush ranged with a stretching arm, but the margin race have to use the melee version despite the fact they have stretching arm as well. Similar note, how is this margin NPC is allowed to have Namak finger, but CAC margin race cannot learn them? The race can learn sword of hope and brave sword attack is an ultimate, but Sailors and Aliens can learn giant slash, and burning slash is a super. Broly's gigantic meteor takes too long. Freeze a supernova takes too long. Goku's super spirit bomb takes too long. Can we have an option to turn off limit burst? How many times did Dragon Fist get nerfed and nerf? If I have 7 Dragon Balls, then I would wish to bring Blue Hurricane damage back. Fake Death got nerfed recently, which is good, because it wasn't fair in balance. Fake Blast now has 2 stamina reviews, which is bad, because it's not fair in balance. I can go down the list of broken skills, mechanics, and cheap tactics in the game, but I'm not gonna go through every details on them. Instead I'm gonna show you a few notable ones that Amateur uses most of the time. Time to make the donuts. Kabber is the only DLC character that have his own base and transformation. While some DLC characters just started their base and their transformation. And several existed characters that needed more transformation. Ultra Instinct Goku and Jiren did a lot more fights in the Tournament of Power. So how come they are stuck with recycle skill set? I can say the same for Android 17 Super. He only have one new move and a new fighting technique. I thought this parallel quest was gonna decide the battle between which fusion is better, but I guess the world will never know. The last preset for Goku and Vegeta in their with symbols doesn't have their Super Saiyan transformation, but in parallel quest they can do it. We can play these characters only for training and crystal raid mode, but we can't use them for photo mode. So the new update allows us to fight along with our mentors in different costumes. But I'm hoping there will be more costume for all mentors with different variety of selection. Instead of giving us the same stuff occasionally. I wish we can customize our own attributes for our mentors. Customize the clothing of every mentor is a neat feature in the game. But, we can only customize only certain aspect to some mentors. Mentor Vegeta can learn Super Saiyan God Vegeta skill set, but Mentor Broly can't learn Canon Broly skill set. Mentor 18 can use Dead End Dren, but as a cast she cannot learn them. Cast Margin Boo can use Angry Explosion, but as Mentor he can only learn it as a dual ultimate. Nappa can turn into a Super Saiyan. But wait. Where did his hair go? Oh. And finally, there's a topic about Android 21 and Ubers coming to Ultra Pack 2 DLC. Any thoughts about it? Not much just excited to see two characters I always wanted, since this game been out for nearly 3 years. Plus, a new console is coming out next year, so I'm not complaining about it. Unless we are not getting another sequel to Zinniverse. Well that's all said and done. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you again.